The topic is Afghanistan, where do we go from here? And we have with us to uh, give us an analysis of some of the issues that we face in Af Afghanistan, uh, Dr. Leonard Madhu. Uh, Dr. Madhu, let's uh, pick up where we left off last mm -hmm. time, and, and I don't want to lose any of this. Uh, uh, simply pick up where we left off mm -hmm. last time for the next, uh, this segment, for the next eight minutes. Go and tell us about and, it. And, and you know, <clears throat> it's important for people to understand how all this problem started in, in Afghanistan. In, in 1970, 73, the king, and you know Afghanistan used to be a kingdom, mm -hmm. the king Ahmed Zahir Shah was overthrown you know, by his relative General Mohammed Dawood. Mm -hmm. Dawood on taking over abolished the kingdoms, you know, but he was very repressive and brutal. Mm -hmm. So in 1978, officers in the Afghan army who are loyal to the Communist Party overthrew Dawood and executed him and everybody in his family mm. and declared the People's Democratic Republic of Afghanistan under a man called Mohammed Taraki. Mm. Taraki took over in 78, you know, established a communist government supported indirectly by the Soviet Union. In early 1979, about April, I think, yep, 79, insurgents, a lot of the Islamic you know, insurgents in Afghanistan started organizing because they opposed a communist government in Afghanistan. Like I've said earlier, Afghanistan is a, one of our only common, you know, Islamic nation, about 99%, 80% Sunni, 90% Shiite. So they were upset about the nationalization of the lands and all those things. And so they started organizing, opposing the government. So in September 1979, Mohammed Taraki's deputy, Hafizullah Amin, who was educated at Columbia University, overthrew him and killed him and took over the government. Amin was very brutal, very repressive, and the Russians didn't like him either. The Russians thought he was a, a, a secret CIA agent mm -hmm. and that he was very vicious and that he would cause a lot of problems for them more than a moderate, you know, mm -hmm. a communist leader. So Brezhnev ordered, you know, Russian troops to move into Afghanistan and overthrew Amin. So in September of, 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 of 1979, you know, the Russian troops started preparing to move in, in force. They were already in Afghanistan, but on the orders of Brezhnev and the Russian poli Soviet Politburo, they invaded Afghanistan fully in December, mm -hmm. December 27th, 1979, mm -hmm. and killed Hafizullah Amin and overthrew his government. And uh, in, installed Barbara Kamal as president of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. That was when President Carter, you remember, mm -hmm. you know, boycotted the, the mm -hmm. Olympics in Moscow Good. because mm -hmm. of that event. Mm -hmm. So when Barbara Kamal took over, you know, the insurgents, you know, grew, grew very, very rapidly. Uh, the United States decided to support, you know, the Afghan Mujahideen, mm -hmm. which was what they were called. Mm -hmm. We supplied the guns, uh, the, the, the soldiers, paid for the guns, mm -hmm. and the Pakistanis trained the Mujahideen. Mm. Between 1983 and 1997, the Pakistani intelligence service called the ISI, you know, Inter-Services Intelligence, mm. trained about 83,000 Mujahideen. Mm. And we supplied them with Stinger missiles and all that mm. to shoot down Russian planes. You know, this lasted from 79 to 89, when the Russians withdrew. Mm -hmm. But meanwhile, in 1986, you know, the Russians, when uh, Gorbachev came in, mm -hmm. he got tired of the man who was in charge, Barbara Kamal. He mm -hmm. said the man was weak and ineffectual. Mm -hmm. So he organized him, you know, organized a little coup for him to step down. Mm -hmm. And Najibullah took over as president of Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. Najibullah was tough, but at the same time, he was smart. You know, he tried to co-opt the Mujahideen, mm -hmm. but they refused, you know. Mm -hmm. So in 1992, General Abdul Rashid Dostum, who was the leader of the Uzbeks and a general in the Communist Army, turned against, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Najibullah and allowed the, the, the Mujahideen to take over go the government in Kabul mm -hmm. and installed a man called Buru, Burunuddin Rabani. Mm -hmm. Rabani's government was split, you know, because of conflict with the other, other, other rebel forces. Mm -hmm. Rabani was supported by Ahmed Shah Massoud, who was the legendary you know, military commander mm -hmm. of the Mujahideens. Mm -hmm. 
but Masood came from the minority ethnic Tajik group. Mm -hmm. You remember the majority of Af Afghans are Pashtuns, mm -hmm. like I said before, mm -hmm. about 42%. Mm -hmm. And one of their leaders, one of the leaders of the Mujahideen was a Pashtun called mm -hmm. Gubuddin Hekmataya. Mm -hmm. Hekmataya refused to accept the authority of the Tajik regime mm -hmm. in Kabul, mm -hmm. and they continued to fight amongst themselves giving the Taliban, you know, the ta meanwhile the Taliban started organizing under Mullah Omar, mm -hmm. giving them the chance to take over the government in 1994. Mm -hmm. So 1994, the Taliban moved in and took over control of uh, Afghanistan and declared it the Islamic Emirate mm -hmm. of Afghanistan, mm -hmm. you know, under Mullah Omar. Mm -hmm. So that's how Bin Laden came in. Mm -hmm. And people are wondering, well, how did Bin Laden come into all this? Mm -hmm. Well, the fact is that all those Mujahids mm -hmm. who were fighting against the Russians, mm -hmm. there was an Arab contingent, you know, fighting with them. Mm -hmm. Remember, this, this, the Mujahideen was financed by Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. where Bin Laden mm -hmm. comes from. Mm -hmm. All the money for the equipment that the United States, you know, provided mm -hmm. was paid for by the Saudis. Mm -hmm. So when the Taliban came in, they kept Bin Laden and his Arab delegation in, in Kabul mm -hmm. with them, you know. Mullah Omar needed Bin Laden. To get them, uh, they need the exactly money. The money. Want the money. Ex mm. Exactly, they needed that money to keep flowing from mm. Bin Laden personally mm. and also from the Saudis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they kept Bin Laden and his Arab contingent in, in, in Kabul with Ayman Zawahiri, who is a chief strategist, you know, for Al-Qaeda. Zawahiri was a member of the Takfai Hijira in Egypt who was responsible for the assassination of President Anwar Sadat. Mm -hmm. And he was the chief, he's still the chief strategist of Osama bin Laden's al mm -hmm. So that's how al -Qaeda came into, you know, into, yeah. into, into, into play mm -hmm. in, in Afghan politics. Majority of the Afghans mm -hmm. didn't like the Arabs meddling in their internal affairs. Mm -hmm. But the Taliban needed them because of the money, money. and their military expertise to be on their side, you see. So Mullah Omar himself, who is the spiritual leader you know, of the Taliban and still the spiritual leader of the Taliban, you know, you know, welcomed Bin Laden, gave him land and all that to train you know, their, their forces in, in, in Afghanistan. That's how Bin Laden came in into Afghanistan. He was formerly in the Sudan. You know, after the Russians left, mm -hmm. Bin Laden went to the Sudan. Mm -hmm. But the Sudanese government kicked him out on pressure from the United States went back to Afghanistan, you know. And okay, uh, Dr. Badu, let's uh, break for this uh, commercial break, and then we'll pick up at the same point. And we'll be back with our audience following this short commercial break.